everyone, so today's video is going to be on my January favourites of the year 2015. It's crazy that it is already February, I know pretty much everyone is going to say that but it really is ridiculous. Um, so I've got a few favourites today, I've got sort of miscellaneous products and then I've got more beauty related and makeup related products as well. So I think enough talking from me because I always tend to ramble, let's just get on with the products themselves. So the first thing I kind of want to <laughs> mention, which is a bit weird, it is a snack that I have really been loving just recently. I've been trying to eat a lot healthier than I have because I suffer with quite a few health issues and basically I just want to help myself by eating a lot healthier. So I have been loving the snack peanut butter on rice cakes with banana and it is divine. It is delicious. I used to hate peanut butter and now I just love it. It's just amazing. It is just the saltiness with the sweetness is just amazing. I thought I'd mention it first because I kind of want to eat it. So because of the snack I think I'll just stay with the miscellaneous products first. So another product or an item that I have really been loving this month is the TV series Pretty Little Liars. I know I am very late onto the A train. Um, but it is just, it's amazing. Like I first started watching it and um, I didn't get into it at all. This was about a year ago probably. And then I sat down and really started watching and watching it um, just before Christmas I believe and it's so good that I'm already nearing the end of season five. I just think it is an incredible show, they are really good actresses, it is just really um, addictive because you just want to know what is happening next. There's always a cliffhanger ending and it's just a brilliant TV show. If you haven't watched it already then I definitely suggest that you do. Okay, so I'm now going to go on to skin and kind of hair care products. I say kind of hair care products because it is a shampoo. I just don't use it to shampoo my hair. So it is the Pantene Normal to Thick Hair Smooth and Sleek Shampoo. Now I don't personally use this as a shampoo because it is a very rich creamy texture and it just weighs down my fine hair. I have a lot of hair so it makes my hair look very thick but it is really really fine and it's also flat, it doesn't have much body to it. So this just really weighed it down, I could hardly get any volume into it so I just don't use it for my hair. So what I tend to use it for is cleaning, like deep cleaning my makeup brushes and this is amazing for doing that. It just smooths everything out, it makes them completely soft, it just makes them beautiful. Um, it cleans all of the crap out, there's no gunk, there's no makeup left in the brushes and they just they smell so clean and they're just super soft. Um, I mean like it doesn't over soften bristles but it makes them nice and soft. So like the Chanel brush, it is a bit more of a stiff haired brush um, but it just makes it a little tiny tiny bit softer. Um, but nothing like dramatically different. So if you bought like a really coarse brush, it's not going to dramatically change it. Um, but it's just a really great product for cleaning my brushes I have found just recently. Another product I have found probably the last month I've been using this. And it is the Dove Beauty Cream Bar for soft, smooth skin. This stuff is incredible. I first heard about it from, well apart from like obviously years and years ago when I was a little baby and my mum would use this because I have um, eczema and this is like something that really calmed my skin down. Um, but just recently I heard Makeup by Tiffany D mention how much she loved it, she used it as a face wash, it cleared up her pregnancy, like hormonal acne that she was getting and she just raved about it, like she used it as a body wash as well. I literally picked this up started washing my face with it morning and night. I also use it in the shower to wash my entire body. I wash my hands with it. It smells amazing. I just love the smell of this product as well as the fact that it has cleared my skin up. Like I've got the odd sort of blemish which is just peeking through my foundation. I've got like 
one or two blemishes and that is it and that is incredible for my skin my skin goes through stages of getting really spotty then really clear then really like breaking out like crazy so it is maintained my skin it's maintained its clearness it is just amazing <laughs> it is an amazing product another thing for my skin that i wanted to talk about is the oilatum natural pear face cream i believe it's called and just recently I have been sick with this holiday virus bug thing that has been going on like plaguing everyone and especially around the UK and I get very dry in this area even though I have very very oily skin and you know throughout the day I'll get like an oil stick and I have to blot my face religiously I was getting really dry skin around my nose and also here and underneath my eyes. It was very dehydrated and it was very itchy and just very dry. So I started using this in place of my normal day moisturiser just for when it was really dry. And this stuff is really good. I started using it when I didn't have any problems because I heard people talk about it and said how good it was even though they had oily skin. So I was like, oh, I'll just give it a try. So I was using it as my moisturiser when I didn't have any dry patches on my skin and it just made me too oily. Just recently I've been applying a bit just sort of, I have been applying it all over my face but I've been concentrating it more just on these drier areas. And my dry skin has completely gone away. It's only been about three days that I've been using this and it's just completely gone away. This sinks into my skin and creates a matte finish after a little while. I sort of leave it sinking in my skin about five, ten minutes before I apply my makeup if I'm going to be wearing makeup that day. And it has just cured my dry skin problems. I'm probably going to, you know use this as well as another moisturiser throughout my daily skincare and just switch it up when I do get drier patches but this is really good even for oily skin it's really good if you still woo, got like that combination face where you've got dry patches and oily patches it's just really nice and your foundation applies really smoothly over the top of it okay so I think next of all I've only got I've got all kind of makeup stuff. <laughs> I'd say like my last miscellaneous thing are my new tweezerman tweezers. I didn't know what heaven for tweezers was until my partner bought me these for Christmas. They are so sharp, they grab the hair and pull it out. They don't hurt as much I find because they are gripping the hair so tightly and they are definitely, you know, pulling the hair out at the root rather than a more blunter version just grabbing out the hair and pulling it and hurting you this just takes it out and these are a godsend if you don't like plucking your eyebrows because of the pain i kind of got used to it now but when i was younger i could have killed for those <laughs> so next product is my l'oreal skin perfection magic blur i use this as a primer after i have washed my face i use it on days when i don't wear makeup because it just mattifies my skin and i wear this underneath my makeup and pretty much nothing else just recently i've only been reaching for this product um my laura mercier foundation no my laura mercier foundation primer i should say i've now popped in my kit because it was just a bit too rich for me um my skin like i said is very oily and um in winter time the air conditioning the heat and central heat and going out in cold weather blah 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 it just plays havoc with your skin and that was just too rich for me this is pride of place in my makeup routine at the moment it is a godsend obviously i still get a little oily and i do need to blot sort of halfway through the day but this is amazing at, it's just it's just a good product another product i have absolutely been adoring just recently is my collection lasting perfection concealer this stuff is pretty much identical to the prolong wear concealer from mac it's got the same coverage but it's not quite as waterproof as the Pro Long Wear. I find that if I wear the Pro Long Wear and my eyes water or if I cry like with laughter or with sadness, my concealer stays on whereas this does run. So this stuff is amazing. It is a ridiculous price, like so cheap. I can't remember off the top of my head, probably about 3 dollars I want to say. And 
it is just a really great product. I have been using this every day that I wear makeup just recently. I apply underneath my eyes and down the centre of my face and I apply my foundation on the outer corners of my face. And this stuff holds up ridiculously well on my oily skin. It covers all my dark circles and discoloration that I want to get rid of and it is just an amazing concealer. So next product I want to talk about is a holy grail product that has taken over my life since I received it on Christmas Day and it is my Anastasia Contour Kit. This is the light version because I've now came out with a darker version for darker skin tones and this palette is a godsend. It is amazing. The quality of the pigments are just amazing. They're so pigmented and they're such a good product. The quality is fantastic. All of the colours I pretty much use, um, I love these two as contours, I love mixing these two to set my concealer where I've highlighted and underneath my eyes. I normally focus the vanilla underneath my eyes just to keep them illuminated and bright. I love this shade for my um, oh, cupid's bow, cheekbones and down the of my nose, I also use it underneath my brow, on my lid, on the inner corner, I use that shade pretty much everywhere. It just gives a really gorgeous glow to your skin, I don't know if you can see it, hopefully you can. Um, it just gives a really sort of, more like a skin glow, like your skin is glowing, rather than a product that's just a wet slick on your face, if that makes sense. And then this Havana shade I use as a bronzer, and I just love the palette. Obviously my skin is more on the fair side and the lighter side. I don't apply as much product but you can build this up to medium skin tone or you can go for the deeper palette if you wanted as well but it's just a holy grail. I hands down recommend that to everyone. Another product that I have been loving since I received on Christmas Day is the Daniel Sandler Watercolour Fluid Blusher in the shade Gentle. I received this from my mother-in-law. And it is a fantastic blush. You may have seen that I've used it in quite a few tutorials just recently. And I pretty much wear it every day. I did a go-to look just recently. And I feature this whenever I leave the house, I have to be made up or go in and see a client or go in to my retail job. I wear this as my blusher. It lasts all day. The colour is fantastic. It's like a really gorgeous rosy tan. It looks more like a sort of a bronzer in the tube but it's a really gorgeous rosy tan shade and it stays on your cheeks for ages. Um, it says apply one drop, one dot of colour for each cheek. I, I only apply one and then I use my angled kabuki brush get that all covered with the product and then dot it on my cheeks and then I go in with a clean kabuki brush and just buff out the edges because sometimes it can be really really intense so I just buff the edges just to make it a little bit more natural and it's just amazing as you can tell all these products are amazing which is why I love them um let's do eyeshadows I've got two eyeshadows that I've really been liking just recently and it is cork and folly from MAC cosmetics they are gorgeous warm toned brows. I've been really loving wearing warm toned colours on my eyes and on my face just recently. Like obviously I'm wearing the warm apricot colours today and I just really love it. I love wearing cool toned shades as well but I've just really been liking the warm toned colours just recently. Um, especially sort of like bronzers on your eyes, like an actual bronzer, face bronzer that I use in my crease like on an everyday basis and it's just really gorgeous just gives you like a really nice gorgeous summery glowy look even though it's winter here so a old but favourite favourite an old but a good favourite I should say is the Maybelline of the Rocket Volume Express Waterproof this is my holy grail mascara I absolutely adore this thing I can curl my eyelashes, obviously I'm wearing falsies today, I can curl my eyelashes, apply this onto the backs of the lashes and then the front and it will hold that curl all day. This is the only mascara that I have found that does that job and I just really love it. 
So I think last but not least are two lip products and they are both by Dior and they are both in the shade Grage. Surprise, surprise. I have the, I'm not sure what this is even called anymore because it's so small. This is just the Dior lip liner in the shade Grage or 169. This is an amazing colour. It's got a really gorgeous sort of pinky, nudey brown shade and it is really gorgeous. It's like your lips but better. You can apply it lightly or you can apply it really deeply and get a gorgeous colour out of that. And then I've really been loving just the combination of these together with the 169 Grade lipstick. This one is more orangey toned than the lip liner, but I just love applying it sort of in the middle of my lips, just so it sort of takes away a little bit of the madness that the um, lip liner has to it. So those were all of my makeup and beauty favourites for the year 2015 in January. I hope you all enjoy this video. What have your favourites been this month? And I will talk to you all very soon.